Hi everyone, today I'm going to show some effects of the image processing in Android. Uh, let's open the image. I will download it last time and the process I did some atmospheric corrections. This is the image. I will drag it here in the end. Now you can see the images here. And then you uh, will see the bands information. There are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bands of the Lancet 8 images. There yeah, are interested bands are blue, green, red, and near infrared action. Uh, here we can see the details of all bands. These are the uh, working directory or the source of the images. This is the dimensions and the how the image is stored in the hard disk. This is the data types. This is the size of the image. Uh, the file type of the image is the NV because we save this file as a D8 data extensions. That is basically the NV data type and we defined. And sensor type is Lancet OLI. Projections is UTM zone 45 north. Data is WGS 84. Pixel size is 30 meter. And the wavelength is from 0 0.442. 2.201 micrometers. Uh, here we can see the images. In the bands of those images are visible here. See the red band is represented by this red, and the green is represented by this green, and the blue is represented by this one. Here are different ways of data stretching is available in the end. We will see here. Uh, basically, first let me uh, zoom in and zoom out this scene. This is the scene we are processing, mainly this is the carpenter. Here I zoom in the uh, in the carpenter area. You can see it. Now, if I change the uh, a different type of the straights uh, here, let's start from the no straights. See without doing any stretching operation the visualization of the image is not that good not exactly that would good in this case we cannot uh, uh, see anything here in the image now if i do the default linear stretching you can see like this this is the effect i can close this one so that we can see all the part of the image here in the window if I do the linear one percent, it is little bit better. And then linear two percent is more brighter, and linear five percent even more brighter. We do the uh, equalizations, histogram equalizations. It is not that good effect here. It looks quite bright in the uh, built up area and less vegetated area. So, um, but uh, in all the cases, the equalization method is not that bad like here. We can go to the linear 5% stretching, means the 5% of the data cut off. Uh, here we do it uh, the Gaussian stretching. Uh, this is the effect of the Gaussian stretching. If I do the square root, a slightly changes from the Gaussian stretching, they have the more or less similar effect. Logarithmic method, see, it is very close to the histogram equalizations I use. I just uh, uh, demonstrated just before. And optimized linear is this one. This is automatically defined as to optimized uh, in a stretching methods and then in the custom we can set uh, these values here like uh, let me try 10 percent linear we do the reset and here is very few uh, effect very small let's say uh, 20 
it doesn't have that effect let's say one portion have to do that in the uh, different we can say the uh, different color bands separately like this we can try and then new blue we can try this is balanced if we do this uh, together we can see all the histogram here all together 